Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Ah, fresh cup of coffee. I love it. Anyway, uh, today I want to show you what I've been working on for the last couple of days about my circular saw. Before I do, real quick, I just want to mention that my last video about the, uh, the methodology of glue-ups, and it took me by total surprise when I brought up the idea of that locking cap on the French's mustard lid. And I, the fact that I never even knew it until somebody told me. And I thought it was so weird is because everybody I've asked, they didn't know about it either. So I thought it, that must have been one of the best kept secrets out there. So anyway, I'm glad I was able to bring that to light. So at least 10 more people know about it now. So anyway, today I want to talk about my circular saw here. And this saw is my little five and a half inch Ryobi. It runs off of a battery. And I have told you a while back that this is going to be dedicated to doing nothing but all plywood cutting. But it had some drawbacks to it. Um, some of the drawbacks was this thing was kind of getting away. So I've actually I've made three improvements. So let me show you this one real quick. And you may have already seen it. I have a pin right here so that this helps hold back my fan shroud or my blade shroud when I don't need it. I want it out of my way. It just hooks right over it and it stays there. And that was a nice little improvement. So now this thing is real easy. And I like it because it's so light and easy to handle. Would be the one or two hands. Has a built-in laser light, which is really nice to have. And this is the P506. Anyway, if you remember... The two things I really didn't like about it is zero clearance, tearing out, tear out on plywood, and dust collection. And I showed you, this is my dust collection plate that I made. has a hose hooked to it that's, oh, I don't know, about 10 feet long so that it doesn't obscure or give me trouble when I'm trying to use it. And it's really very simple. I'm going to take that out just to get it out of the way. But usually that just press fits in here and it stays there. Uh, but that just fits on there just like that hose hooks up right here so it's drawing now the vacuum from right here and this thing I've tried it and I, I'll do a demo one of these days when I do another panel saw update which I'll be doing here hopefully before too long but this is dedicated to be used on there and this dust collector has really added nice so now it has an auto stop right here so that I have right at um, round, uh, round an inch, if I remember right, a little less than an inch of an a little, just a hair over an inch of cutting here. So I can cut three quarter inch plywood without any problem, even with the shroud on. And with it hooked up to the vacuum, it does a really excellent job. The other problem is zero clearance, tear out on it. And what I did there is I just completed making this. And pretty simple. But basically, it just has three magnets on here that I embedded into the wood. And it has this area here, which fits this area here. And so when I put it in place, like so, there. It just snaps right in. And now it's on there. It will not come off. And I have zero clearance around my blade. So now... I also have uh, be able to take care of tear out on any plywood that I do cut by having this on there. And I can take it on and off in just a matter of seconds. And it, when I do put it on, it stays on there once I get it lined up. There we go. Fits really nice and snug, but it works real well. So when I have both of these on here, like so, they don't interfere with each other. I can use them both together. I can use either one of them separately all by itself or neither one. So that's what I like about it. I've made it out of simple material in the shop. And like I said, let's go real quick how I made this. I'll leave a link to where I, I talked about this before. And I'll leave a link to that so you can kind of see how I did this before too if you want. But I will tell you, between this piece here... And this piece here, it really makes this saw so much better to use. 
And the beauty of that is, if you take a look at what I've actually done here and made it so easy and simple to take on and off and use, that you could do this with virtually any circular saw. In fact, before I'm done, I do have this one's big brother here. This is the seven and a quarter that's out now that runs off of the batteries. And there's no reason why I can't make a plate to do the same thing on here that I do on there or the side cover so that I get good dust collection. So you can do these two pieces on virtually any saw that you want. Anyway, I wanted to show this to you, see what you thought about it, and show you that now, when this thing comes down, if I loosen it up, bring it all the way down, it hits the, so it hits the stop, and I have 7 eighths of an inch here. So that's more than enough to go through a 3 quarter inch piece of plywood, even with everything on it. And I can actually take, if I leave that loose... I can take and drop this down on there and actually do a plunge cut with this saw and the way it's set up. And that works so nice. And when I'm done, I can lift it up off of there. Reset it. So, between having this locked down now, having dust collection, zero clearance and no tear out, this thing has actually turned out to be really a really great saw to have in any shop. And with the added factory laser light this thing is the berries so anyway this thing is now i think i'm done doing anything with this as far as improvements at this point but it's ready to go and i'm going to be very happy to have this over there at my panel saw to be able to grab and use at any moment on any piece of plywood whether i'm using it on the panel saw or just laying it on saw horses and cutting it outside. This will be a great little tool to have around to do all my plywood cutting and be able to, to get a good clean cut every single time. So if you have any questions about any of this, any suggestions of how to make it better, uh, let me know. Ask, just leave them in the comments below. If you like this video or you learned something here, or if I at least just made you smile maybe for a second, Go ahead, hit that like button. It lets me know I'm doing the right thing and lets YouTube know that I'm doing the right thing. So your help is appreciated. It really doesn't cost you anything. So don't be afraid to hit that like button. Most importantly, come back again because we're nowhere near done. We'll just see what I got to show you next. Thanks. I hope you like this. And we'll see you again very soon.